Hello everybody and welcome to Ian's Bricks. My name is Ian. So behind me I've got a rather large box which is all full of Lego. And this is Lego that I uh, won from an auction website here in the UK. I've been using a few different auction websites uh, and they basically have live auctions. Um, they do a lot of toys and collectibles and things like that. But every now and again they have some Lego. There's, there's quite a few uh, different uh, auction houses which have Lego every, every now and then. And uh, yeah, I've been buying things from these auction houses because there's a lot of uh, older Lego. I'm finding that now when I go to these uh, festivals and brick fairs and things, I just don't have a lot of sort of older, older Lego, more than about two or three years old. So I want to sort of be able to try and sell some older sets. And to be able to do that, I kind of need to get more stock. And it's a good place to get stock from. From, you've just got to be so careful that you don't overbid. So uh, I spent a total on this box, which doesn't seem a lot of money, it seems a lot of money from the box I got, uh, £1,250, which is more than I've spent at an auction before. I placed loads of bids. I probably placed 60 different bids and I got outbid on a lot of things and I did a lot of research and did pre-bids before the auction started to make sure that I wasn't overpaying for things because, of course, as well as the... Um, hammer price that you pay there's 27 percent to go on top of that for sort of fees and things like that and then on top of that you've got post and packing as well which in this case wasn't too bad the total post and packing was around about um for uh, 50 56 pounds i've got some notes here around about 56 pounds and i won a total of nine lots altogether so it works out at just above six pound uh, per lot so i have actually had a quick look in this box this arrived the other day with another order and i wasn't too sure whether it was the right thing so I just had a quick open it to have a quick check inside what was on top I haven't actually been down into the box to have a look at the quality of all the different boxes so I'm going to do that now I'm going to move this onto the floor it's really heavy this as I say there's loads of Lego in here and just so I can show you sort of briefly what we've got in here if I lift this up hopefully you'll be able to see that we've got loads of sets it's very very well wrapped as these auction halls always are um, now obviously the items I'm going to pull out aren't going to be in order of what I bought them for so I'm just sort of going to pull out a few things and see what we get. So the first thing which I've got a few of these it's these here Dimensions Pack. So Dimensions was an older style um, game that uh, Lego did for a while. Uh, let's have a look at the date of these actually. They are from 2016. It was relatively short lived um, but the idea was is that you use the game pieces um, and uh, you were able to sort of play this dimension game. I think you can still play the dimension game, but this one in particular I've had my eye on for a while. I've been on a few auction sites and it's the Doctor Who. So you get a Cyberman and a Dalek. And these p particular individual packs normally retail for around about 20 to 30 pounds here in the UK. Doctor Who is quite a popular theme. Uh, so uh, yeah, there was uh, a pack of, I think there were 16. I actually won two lots of them. Um, Two lots of dimensions but yeah there was kind of a mixture of them all together i paid quite a lot of money so i think in each dimensions pack i got around about 16 different boxes and i paid two lots so i won two auctions with these one went for 140 pounds which was which was my maximum and the other one actually i got for less than i was willing to pay i got 110 so i think i put 140 on that and i won it for 110 now the actual uh, buy-in price for this is a 140 pound lot ended up costing me 177.80 once we add fees so that's quite a lot of money for 16 sets but say these are go for 25 pound 30 pound each so that that doesn't take long to add up and the other lot uh, 110 one uh, the total buying price for that was 139.70 obviously we've got another six pound something on each of those to add for post and packing now so obviously not just this one set i've got 16 of these now i didn't get 16 doctor who ones there are a mixture of them so as i go through We'll have to see which ones we've got. So we have this one here uh, for 71240. This is the Bane and the Drill Driver. I don't think these go for quite as much as the Doctor Who ones. I have to say the box condition on all of these is, as usual with this auction house, it's absolutely excellent. Uh, we have 71227 and that's the Simpsons one. It's the Krusty the Clown and the Clown Bike. Uh, I think this one goes for a reasonable amount, probably 15 to 20 pounds for these ones. Again, I've got to check all my prices on these dimension packs because there is quite a variety. There's another Doctor Who one there. Um, we've got another Bane one there. 
and what's this one here? Another Doctor Who one. So there were quite a few Doctor Who ones in this uh, in this lot. If I stack those up there, that'll work quite well. Uh, what's up? Oh. Throwing them around, not destroyed. It's fine. Uh, we've got another Bane and a Drill Driver one there. And another Bane one there. There are quite a few of the Bane ones in as well. Probably not my favourite. Probably not quite as popular as those ones, but um, it's just how the lots came up, really. Another Doctor Who there. The Doctor Who number, by the way, 71238 for the Dalek and the Cyberman. Uh, another Krusty the Clown there. Should have 32 of these all together. Oh, we've got a different one. Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman and the Invisible Jet. Uh, 71209 is the set number for this. Uh, so again, I don't think this is worth an awful lot. Maybe 10 to 15 pounds for the Wonder Woman. Not quite as popular as Doctor Who. Another Bane one. I didn't realise I had so many Bane ones, but hey-ho. That's hopefully it's not going to be the Bane of my life when I try to come and resell them. Another Bane one there. All the boxes, they're absolutely immaculate. Another Bane one. There are all a lot of Banes, actually. I probably, I probably got swayed by the Doctor Who ones. <laughs> Another Bane one. If anybody wants a Bane <laughs> dimension, come and see me at one of my Brick Festivals. I'm bound to have at least one or two in stock. There's another Bane one there. Goodness me, there are a lot of Banes. Right, uh, what else have we got? Some more. They keep coming. Doctor Who. Um, another Wonder Woman there. And another Bane. And another Krusty the Clown. Another Krusty the Clown. You can see there's a pattern to this order. Uh, another Doctor Who one there. They, they were the ones that I was after, I think, out of all of them. The Doctor Who ones in particular seem to be the most popular. So there are actually quite a few. I see another Doctor Who there. There are quite a few of these Doctor Who ones in this order, as well as quite a few of these Banes. Yeah, so anyway, these might take a little while to tell us. You know, the, the, what I'll probably end up doing with these is taking two or three of each of these to my upcoming brick festivals and brick shows and things, another Doctor Who. Um, and they'll probably sell over a period of time. I've got a, quite a few things, another Doctor Who, quite a few um, things booked in for this year, so plenty of opportunity to sell these on. Another Bane. Right, we're down to the last few. Another Wonder Woman. And another Doctor Who. Another Doctor Who. And another Doctor Who. They were the ones that I was after most of all. And I think this is the last one. And another Bane. So, let me have a count up and see how many of each of these uh, that I've actually got. So, I've added them all up. There are 32 in total, which is what I was expecting. There were 16 per lot. Um, I've got three of the Wonder Womans, 12 of the Doctor Whos, which are the best ones, 13 of the Banes, which are probably not going to be that great, and four of the Krusty the Clowns, which are, are quite good as well. So, yeah, nice little haul. I have to say the condition of these all brilliant. I, have, I am, of course, hoping that people will actually want these sets, uh, but I've got quite a few of them now. These should keep me going for a while at quite a few Brick festival, Festivals, which is fantastic. So, the next thing I've got to do is I've got some other orders as well, and they seem to have packed them in um, these um, packs here. So this, I think, has got four sets in it. So I think I'm just going to go through the rest of the box and open up each one individually. Right, so I've got a couple of smaller sets here. This is the Cosmic Cardboard Adventures. This was a gift with purchase during the day. Uh, 40533 is the set number here. Now, this was part of a larger lot. 
I'm just having a quick look. I'll have to try and what I'll probably do at the end of the video is I'll, I'll put the put the lots in order because it's quite difficult for me to keep track of what's coming out of the box and trying to relate them to the different lots. So that was part of a lot, um, as was this one here, which is a Lego idea set which I've never ever owned, and it's uh, 21110, the Research Institute. Uh, so this is from what year is this from? 2014, 10 years old, and look at the, I mean, this box is immaculate. I really don't know where this auction house get their sets from, but, um, I mean, this is like brand new, this is even better, you know, if you'd buy something from Argos, you'd get this all, uh, you'd, this would arrive all battered and torn, but, uh, yeah, this is the ideas uh, number eight, so this is a really, really old ideas set. Uh, so, really, really pleased to get myself that set there. Uh, again, that was part of another haul. Now, I've got a couple of things here which I think were part of the same lot. And we've got a couple of architecture sets, a couple of the older ones. Now, this is Berlin. The Berlin Architecture 21027 is the set number. Uh, I've been to Berlin a few times over the years, not for a while, but uh, you have the Brandenburg Gate on there. You have the, uh, is it the Alexanderplatz Tower, I think that's called. Um, and the um, and the uh, the Parliament building, the Reichstag, is there. A couple of other things as well. I think this actually commands a decent price. And again, the quality of this box is absolutely fantastic. Ah, however, what have I just noticed? That has been opened. I'll have to check the listings on this one. Oh, and it's been built as well. Oh dear, I was thinking I was getting a new one, and I'm not. I will probably check the listings on this, uh, but it's fine. I might just have to sell this on as um, as. Uh, has built. I was slightly disappointed in that. I could have sworn that this one was a sealed set, but it's not, which is slightly disappointing. I'm going to just check my notes on this one. Both within near mint, mint sealed boxes. Well, that's not sealed. Anyway, slightly disappointing, so I'm not going to be able to make as much money on this particular set as I thought because it's not sealed. Now, the only problem is now, let's just check the, check the other boxes. Now, they're definitely sealed, that one. And that one's sealed as well. Let's have a look at this other one. So we've got another architecture one here. And this is the Big Ben. And this is set number 21013. Uh, and uh, yeah, nice little set this. Now I'm just having a quick look. This one is definitely sealed. So at least that one is sealed. Disappointing actually with the Berlin one because it does clearly quite say. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, the auction auction catalogue again for this one just to make sure for the Berlin one. But yeah, very very good quality. It's again it's an older set. This is from 2012, so 12 years old this set, uh, and it's something I've never actually owned. But uh, I'm actually quite pleased to get that one as well. So just a one disappointment so far, which is that Berlin set. Now what did I pay? So those two architecture sets together. I ended up paying quite a lot of money for them. 130, no, 100, paid 110 on the hammer price, and the total um, sublot total with the fees and everything was 139.70. I'm not sure I'm probably going to get that money back now that that uh, box has been opened. I will let the auction house know. I'm not sure there's anything they can do about that, but um, we'll have to wait and see. So there's a, probably something that I may have overpaid on. So maybe a bit overzealous, but. Um, yeah, we'll have to see whether this is complete. That's the next thing. I'll, I'll, I'll end up building that myself, actually, and um, whatever. It's one of those things. Next, let's get into here. So we looks as though we have a, a Minecraft set. Let's get rid of all these bubbles and things. Right. So we have this Minecraft set. Now, I don't normally buy a lot of Minecraft sets. Uh, this is from 2018, so it's only a couple of years old. It's obviously bought from a, a supermarket because you've got the little tag on the bottom there. Uh, yeah, I, I'm going to have to check up how much this goes for because I've got no idea. Um, I say I probably had a quick look at this, the price of this when I was going through all the lots. Um, I think what's quite good about this one, we get some decent animals with this. So hopefully with the chickens and the baby chickens, that might be quite a popular set. So we'll have to wait and see uh, what that is going for. Let's pop that up there. We have another block of three sets again here. Oh yeah, is that, is that sealed? Oh yeah, we've got, we got thumbtacks on that one, that's sealed. Let me have a look at one of the Doctor Who sets as well. Uh, yeah, they they look as though they're all sealed. So I think I've just been unlucky with that one with that one uh, set. Right. Okay. 
So let's just quickly first of all check. Yes, we're sealed on this now. This is a really good one. Again, more Doctor Who, but this is the Ideas Doctor Who set. 21304 is a set number. Again, a set I never actually bought at the time and regret. We've got the 11th Doctor Who and the 12th Doctor there. We've got a couple of other figures there and uh, two of the Daleks as well. So, um, yeah, this is a, a really nice idea set. This is idea set number 11. Now, let's have a look and see how much I paid for this one. This was an individual lot on its own. Now these go for quite a bit of money now. Um, I paid £120 on the hammer price so that's quite a lot for one set uh, and that meant the total sub lot was £152.40 add on £6 post and packing so I paid close to £160 for that. I still think there's a bit of profit in there but it's probably not as much as I would hope for but uh, the box condition is absolutely immaculate so um, maybe I can uh, hopefully uh, put a decent price on that when I go to one of my brick fairs and brick festivals to uh, to see. But yeah, I'm really pleased to get that. I'm almost half tempted to build this because it's rather a nice little set with a police box and the Doctor Who and everything. So yeah, one set I regret not getting back in the past. Uh, a couple of other things as well. We have another idea set here. It's definitely sealed. Another older one, the Exo Suit 21109. This is the ideas number seven. Uh, and this is something that, again, I didn't get at the time. Um, I wasn't really buying a lot of smaller Lego sets at that particular time. What year is this from? 2014 again. Uh, this, of course, is the one that comes with the uh, the green spaceman. So you get two green spaceman uh, figures in here. You get slightly different helmets, which is slightly annoying. But, uh, yeah, nice little set, this. A, a rare set, an older set. Uh, what did I pay for this one? I think this was part of a... Oh, this was part of a package... Let's just have a quick look. So we've got the ideas, research, introduce women. Oh, okay, so that came, that came as a package of three sets. So uh, the other set that went with that in that particular lot was this one here. And this is the women of NASA. This is a set that I did buy at the time, and I bought a few of these. Uh, I think they were around about £20 uh, when I bought them, but uh, Lego's idea is set number 19, so it's one of the earlier ones again. Uh, we've got a date of 2017 on this, so it's slightly more modern, but nice little set this. Uh, again, these go for an okay price, not, a, not an amazing price these days, but they're quite nice little sets. So let's just have a quick look. So I bought the uh, Hexo Suit Research Institute and the Women of NASA. So we bought that, that, and that were part of the same lot, those three sets there. And I paid a total of £70 was my hammer price for that. I thought that was actually quite good. So that meant the with the fees it's £88.90 and add another £6 on for post and packing. So that's probably cost me about £95 for those three sets there. So I certainly think there's a, uh, a chance to make a little bit of profit on those three sets. But again, quality of the box is absolutely fantastic. Only one disappointment so far. Let's get a big set out, shall we? Okay, and if you can see what this is, it's a Scooby-Doo set. Let's get it out of the packet. Wow, okay, this is a big set. Look at this. And again, just checking that it's sealed. Yes, all the seals are intact. I'm paranoid about that now. The set number 75904. This is a mystery mansion from Scooby-Doo. Uh, the thing that sets this one off, I think, is probably the minifigures. You do get a Daphne and particularly a Velma, which are two of the more rarer characters. Certainly Velma goes on her own uh, for sort of 70 or £80 pounds just as a minifigure. So to get this set as well with all the other figures with the Scooby-Doo, we do Shaggy as well um, and again the quality of the box of this is great I think these are from around about 2015 yeah that's right I just had to see the date on the back uh, again loads of stuff going on in the set really nice set um, so hopefully this will do quite well now I paid quite a bit of money for this again uh, with individual this is an individual one on its own paid £140 for this ouch uh, and that had a subtotal of 177.80 so quite a bit of money for this with the post and packing it works out at about 183 pounds so that's quite a lot of money but these go for well over 200 pounds on sold ebay prices mainly because of that velma um minifigure um but uh, there, obviously there are other figures in there as well and it has to say the quality of the box is really really good so yes it's a lot of money to spend on a big set like that 
but it's certainly possibly, hopefully, <laughs> worth its money. I think one thing I will point out is I am aware that I'm spending a lot of money on these sets and I'll be reselling them on with fairly small profit margins. I would always suggest to most people is to not buy sets once they've retired. Of course, unless you can get them at a decent price. So I know that my profit margins on all these sets are going to be fairly low. But for me, it's, uh, it's, it's yes, I'll still make a bit of a profit, but also it's it's just having a variety of sets on my stores when I go to these festivals. You know, it's all right going to festivals, and a lot of people have the same old sets, sets that have been around over the last year or two. So you want something a bit different. Right. This is some, these are some smaller boxes here. And again, I think these are all part of uh, larger lots, so they weren't individual ones. Now, what do we have? We have a couple of these first of all. Now these aren't worth an awful lot, but they are sealed. Yes, they are. Uh, 40529, just the little children's amusement park packs. Uh, I think I was selling these at the Brick Festival, at the Hampshire Brick event the other day for about £8 each. So they don't go for an awful lot, but uh, a couple more of those. There's probably something else in the, in the hall I was more keen on. This is probably one of them. 40252, this is the Creator VW Beetle. Nice little set these. These go for sort of £20 plus. Uh, these are from a few years ago, so I got myself one of those. I had, the, I, had, I had one of these actually in the past, and I sell the one that I had. So again, good good quality box on that one. Uh, we've also got this, uh, which is the Vintage Taxi 40532. This is a gift we purchased from a couple of years ago. I think I got one or two of these, and I've sold them both now, so it's nice to get another one of those. These seem to be quite popular. I think these go for sort of upwards of £30. Again, I'll need to check the prices on that. But yeah, nice little set to get there. Now, we have one here. It does have a little bit of a dent in the bottom. I think that's just how it was. So yeah, a little bit of a dent on that one. But uh, again, an older Speed Champions one. This is one of the uh, the six wide Speed Champions, a 1968 Ford Mustang fa Fastback. Uh, 75884 is the set number. I think this is quite a popular set. Again, it's nice and sealed. The box is generally okay, apart from that indentation, as you can see on the bottom there. So that'll detract from the value a little bit. But uh, other than that, it's a nice set to get and oh look at that we've got another one of these another one of the creator beetles as well so yeah that was a decent little little uh, bag there uh what else have we got we've got a couple of other things as well i've just spotted these that's got a little bit of a tear on it but nothing too bad just these little cavemen figures you get two cavemen figures uh we've got a set number on this one somewhere he says 500436 is the set number. So we've got two of those. Again, they were just a couple of things that were sort of within that particular haul. Um, oh, we've got another one. Got another one of those there. So this is the third one of those. And we also have a little brickhead bunny as well. Again, not too exciting. 40271 is a set number. Again, it came with a, a lot of other things. So uh, yeah, one of those as well. Oh, right. We've still got a few more to go. We've got all these ones here, which I think look as though they're all brickheads. So, we have another bunny. We've got a little bit of corner damage on that one. Not too bad. They don't go for much anyway. But, uh, yeah, so we've got another one of those little bunnies there. And another one in a much better box as well. That really is a, is a, is a nicer box on that one. Again, these are all sealed, so that's good. Uh, we've also got this one here, which is the, I think this was, oh, The Witch it was called, this one. Uh, 40272 is the set number. Uh, again, nothing too special there, but uh, there you go. That's what I got. And we've also got this brick head here, which was the Turkey. Uh, set number uh, 40273. When was this from? Oh, 2018. So it's only five, six years old. So, yep, yeah, one of those as well. Ah, uh, we've got more, and there we go. 
right, we have one of these, which is the um, the pirate ship playground. This is only from last year. Nothing too special. Four hundred five eight nine. Uh, these probably go for about twelve quid, really, at my my fares. But uh, anyway, one of the, one of those as well. But we have a rather nice one. These go for quite a bit of money now. Uh, these do a little bit more, over twenty quid certainly. And it's the sixty years four hundred two nine zero is the set number sixty years, where you have got these sort of four miniature versions of Lego sets. And I actually really quite like this particular. Uh, little set, I think it's quite nice. But uh, yeah, got one of those as well. Right, I'm getting to the bottom of the box, but I've noticed at the bottom there's some sets which haven't been uh, packed away and they're a little bit dented, unfortunately. So we have these uh, uh, bride uh, sets here, these Brickhead Brides 40383. This is a little bit bashed in actually, it's at the bottom of the box, so not a lot of care really with that one. It's slightly disappointing. We seem to have four of these. There's another bride there, which is actually uh, slightly better, but still a little bit of corner damage, but nothing too bad. Let's just move these out of the way. Running out of space. Uh, we have some more brick heads. We have the Dalmatian, 40479. I think I only had... Um, one of these and I've got another, I sold it the other day, so I've got another one now. 40479, these go for about £18, I think, uh, so that's not too bad. And we have oh, another Dalmatian, but we've got a little bit of box damage on there. What I tend to do, if there's any little bits of damage on these boxes when I sell them on, I will actually make a note on the label to say slight box damage or something so people know what they're buying. So another Dalmatian. We've also got a Groom Brickhead 40384. Again, we've again it's right at the bottom of the box. It's been a bit squished actually. Um, I'll have a look at the pictures of the items uh, uh, that were on the uh, on the um, on the original sort of sales leaflet. Uh, but yeah, slightly disappointing. These are damaged, but they don't go for that much money anyway. So I can probably still sell these on at a at a reasonable price. Uh, we have one of these. Which is probably one of the worst gift with purchase that Lego ever did. Six three eight seven eight zero oh, eight. Uh, this three in one vehicle thing, which I just think looks awful. I don't think I even got any of these at the time. I just thought I'm not spending any money on Lego to get that as a free gift with purchase. Unfortunately, it was part of a larger lot, so I've got one of those. So you never know. I might have to do a giveaway with one of those and just give it away um, on whatnot or something like that, we'll see. And we've got another bunny there as well. We've pulled some of those out of the box, out of the hat as it were. Right, we have got two more packets left. We've got this one here. And uh, we've got this set here, which is a 40371, the limited edition sort of Easter egg thing with a little chip coming out of it. Again, this is only from a couple of years ago, 2020 this was from, so from four years ago. Uh, so, yeah, that's okay, nothing too special there. Uh, we also have a Speed Champion set. Again, we've got a little bit of box damage, but it's not too bad. It's a Porsche. It is still sealed, though, for... 5895. I did actually have a few of these um, that I bought myself, but I didn't buy as many as I would have liked. So it's nice to get another one of these. These certainly go for certainly more than 20, maybe 25 quid, I think, these days on the secondary market. So that's a nice little set to have there. And we have our final, final box of Lego. I think that's definitely it. Let me just have a, yeah, that's just, we've just got uh, packing noodles in there now. That's all we have left. We have this brickhead here, not one of the most popular ones, 40421, the uh, the Rise of Gru with uh, Bob, Bellbottom, Bottom and Kevin. This is from the last um, Minions Rise of Gru film uh, this was from. So yeah, these don't sell for an awful lot. So uh, we'll have to just uh, buy the time with that one. But we've got a rather nice little gift with purchase here which was the Ray the Castaway. I think I've run out of these as well from my original collection. This is only from two or three years ago but this is a very very popular one. This is a set that people do seem to like. It's just a, rather a nice little set. And then something, the last one, which is something that I've never had before. A new set for me. And it's this. 3300001. Rather a large odd number. So this is sort of a dragon. It looks as though the dragon comes in lots of pieces. I don't even know where this is from, if anybody knows. It's from 2011. This is probably why I don't know it. 
Um, whether this was a gift with purchase at the time, got a little bit of indentation on the box, as you can see, it just goes in a little bit there, but it is sealed, and actually the, the rest of the box is in pretty good condition. So, yeah, um, I've never really seen this before. I'm not quite sure how much this goes for on the secondary market, but again, something different, something unusual, and that's the kind of thing I'm looking for with these auction halls to get some unusual sets, which I haven't got already when I go to my Lego fairs. Right, I'm gonna have a bit of a reorganize behind me. There's one or two lots there that I kind of need to put together, and then I'll talk about what I paid for the uh, sets uh, in that particular lot. So, I know you can't see all of the sets, but I want to sort of to group them together. So I've kind of talked about the price already of the Dimension sets uh, and what I paid for those, as well as the individual sets, and there was a box of three idea sets as well. Uh, the ones I didn't talk about were these sort of three lots, three different lots here. So we had the, the lot here with all the, sort of the random sets, we had the gifts with purchase, but there's a couple of Speed Champion sets in there as well. So that order there, there were 12 sets in this particular hall, in this particular lot, and I paid £100 for those, uh, and plus £27 in free fees, there's a 27%, 127 plus another £6 in post and packing, so it's £133 for all of that. Uh, so theoretically I need to be trying to get uh, get my, to get my money back to break even on that one, I need to be sort of selling those sets for, um, well, yeah, what's that, £11 each, and some of them are worth more than that, some of them are worth, worth less than that, but I think overall, I think at £11 per set, um, that's actually not too bad a price. Uh, I was a little bit worried I might have overpaid for that, but I think I might be, there's a small amount of profit in there, not a lot. I'm not going to be rich overnight, certainly. Um, the brick heads, they were all together, and again, there were 12 brick head sets. Now, I paid less for this. It was £80. The bid was the um, hammer price on this one, uh, which meant I paid 160 plus another uh, six pound post and packing so they were about 107 108 pounds for these for 12 sets so they're they're less than 10 pound per set uh, which is good because one or two of them were a little bit damaged uh, and I think really um, yeah again probably I paid a little bit too much for that one again it's very difficult when you're doing these because you try and add up all the prices of the sets and see how much they're going to be but uh, yeah may maybe not the best one to go for but again I want it it's my own fault for bidding so I can't blame anybody else but I'll certainly make my money back on that uh, if not a little bit of profit and then the final haul was these uh, sets here there were six sets in total in this particular one uh, and that included the the weird dragon which I think must be a reasonable one. I think even this Duck Minecraft one and the Ray the Castaway go for a reasonable amount. The others not so much. And I paid £70 for this particular lot. It was £88.90 with all the fees added and that would be what about £95 um, in total um, for the uh, uh, with with the post and packing on there, so you're probably talking, yeah, again, not a lot of profit in that. I think hopefully if this dragon is worth a little bit more money, then I might do okay out of that. But uh, yeah, altogether, um, oh, is it a wise thing to spend one thousand two hundred and fifty pounds on uh, on an auction hall? Probably not. Uh, what, I, of course, I do like about it is I've now got a reasonable amount of stock and s generally smaller sets as well. They tend to do well at a lot of these fairs and festivals that I go and sell Lego at. So these are the kind of things that people are going to be buying. I obviously went all in with a couple of expensive ones like the Doctor Who and the Scooby-Doo set. I'm actually quite pleased to get some of these sets. And generally the condition of the sets was very, very good. We have that one issue with the uh, with the Berlin set which had been opened. I'm going to check out on check that one out and maybe contact the um, maybe contact the auctioneer to let them know that it wasn't sealed. Uh, I'm not sure they'll be able to do anything about that, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, so uh, so yeah, that's it. So. Will I be doing more of these auction hauls? Possibly. Um, I know there has been a few recently, and I've but I've not I've decided not to bid on any of those just because. I think I've been buying quite a lot of these auction halls. I don't want to get loads and loads of stuff because I just don't think there's a lot of profit in these things just because by the time you add the fees on and the post and packing, even though you're getting a good hammer price for a lot of these sets, um, they're probably not going to make you too much profit in the long run. But for me, they're quite nice because generally the sets in this particular hall are fairly small. They'll be easy to transport, easy to take to festivals, uh, and hopefully uh, people will like the variety that I've got on my stalls. So that, that 
that's the idea behind it but whether it's good you know particularly lucrative probably probably not the best way of doing it but again I get to share with you what I buy on these things you get to see some older sets or some sets that you might not have seen before and uh, yeah it's uh, just sort of exciting and interesting to sort of see what you can actually win at these uh, at these toy auctions sometimes but that's pretty much it for now I hope you enjoyed this video thank you very 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 much for watching uh, it's always much appreciated thank you to all the people that comment uh, and uh, like and have subscribed to the channel as well that's always much appreciated uh, but that's it for now until the next video take care and I'll see you then bye for now